Een presidentiële delegatie onder leiding van president Chandrika Prasad Santoki heeft op zaterdag 18 juni een bezoek gebracht aan de Kuldeep Singh Port Facility NV te Dijkveld. Het staatshoofd heeft zich bij deze gelegenheid georiënteerd op de eerste shorebase in Suriname. De onderneming is doende de uitbreiding van deze faciliteit medio 2024 af te ronden. De nieuwe shorebase zal een ondersteunende rol vervullen bij de ontwikkelingen in de olie- en de gassector. Code Sing Port Facility, of in het kort de haven van Code Sing, bestaat vanaf zeven jaren. En in dit kader hebben we dus enkele gasten uitgenodigd. Onze vooraanstaande gast was dus de president van de Republiek Suriname, de heer Chandrika Prasad Santoki. Um, de first lady, mevrouw Melissa. We hebben dus uh, hoogwaardigheidsbekleders hier op bezoek gehad. De minister van Buitenlandse Zaken, de fractieleider van de VHP hebben we dus op bezoek gehad. En nog andere mensen van de relevante stakeholders, uh, waaronder de CEO van Staatsolie, de uh, president van uh, Total. Uh, corporations en natuurlijk ook de president van Halliburton. Die zijn twee van onze grote cliënten. En we hebben hen uitgenodigd met het doel om een beetje samen te vieren wat we in die zeven jaren bereikt hebben. En, en ook een rondleiding te geven aan de haven om een beetje te vertellen en te tonen wat we allemaal hebben gedaan. Het is een groot honneur voor ons en een groot plezier om de uh, president van Suriname hier te zijn. En om deel van deze visit en celebratie te organiseren door Kuldeep Singh. Total Energy, since its arrival in Suriname, end of 2020, has been working to achieve its ambition, which is to provide reliable, affordable, accessible, and clean energy. We have started that job here in Suriname. And for that, we have entered, uh, by the end of 2019, with our partner, um, APA Corporation, on Block 58, about 150 kilometers away from here, on a phase of intense drilling, and this has led to some exploration discoveries, and with exploration discoveries, you need to perform appraisal well to be able to better understand the size of the discoveries that you have made. We are continuing this effort, we are even accelerating this effort, to aggregate enough resources to be able to take as quickly as we can a decision on a development. So, Halliburton is started to support the deep water operations in Suriname 100% out of Trinidad and Tobago, more than a year ago. And I'm very pleased to be here today to announce that uh, we will be completing, after a journey, a year journey with KPF, we will be completing the transition of our operations to Suriname in a couple of weeks uh, to start up the operations by August. It has a lot of investment, you know, efforts work behind all of this. And this is a result of our commitment uh, to invest in the oil and gas deep water business in Suriname. Now, Halliburton will be the first you know, service company to start up the deep water services you know, out of 100% out of Suriname. Right? Of course, in partnership with KPF and with the local industry. Now, one of our priorities is to develop the local talents. And by end of the year, you know, we will be employed 37 new talents you know, into our organization, which will bring our local force to 40%. I'm very proud to announce that uh, the first 11 Surinamese engineers you know, we hired are currently you know, under training in our facilities and locations in the United States, Guyana, Colombia, and the UK to get the proper competences to work in this deep water environment. Does policy matter? A lot of people are saying the government is not making enough policy. But the decision to dredge the river was so, so important. It's a, it's a main reason that Halliburton and Total and Cold Deep Singh have decided to do this. The dredging of the river is immensely important. And we need to continue, President, to 5.5 meter because that's needed even more in the development phase, which is coming. We have enough research now. Uh, the people of Total are really working hard to get uh, to the first FID, and the 5.5 meter is really needed in that development phase. And then local entrepreneurship. You can sit and wait, and a lot of Surinamese companies, they, unfortunately, they do that. 
they want to have a contract before they can work. As I told you, they started even without any idea that something would happen. It could have been that we didn't find oil, but these guys took a, a decision and expanded the port and they, I know they have backup plans. They can do other stuff. So I would encourage the Surinamese people and the Surinamese companies to be entrepreneurial because that will bring us forward. And President, I told the Minister of Finance, we underestimate it, but the economy is already brimming. It's only a question of time that this econom economy will be top again. And with your further assistance in policy, and trust in Staatsoli, in Halliburton, in Total, in Kuldeep Singh. Uh, we trust that this will be a good economy. If we know that the world is facing a challenge of getting lack of gas, and here we are with plenty gas, should we continue with the strategy of business as usual? That's not my view as president. And when we are here, let me discuss that also. Because there are opportunities in Suriname to play a role and take responsibility and take leadership when the world is looking for solutions. And that means for the oil companies and also for start only to have that mind shift also and to change strategy and priorities and timeline and that's from the global perspective and I'm coming from the summit of the Americas and this was one of the voice you could hear from all the leaders of the Western Hemisphere but the second voice was due to the war there is a lack of fertilizers. And with that lack, we'll have a threat on food security. What you should do with that? Continue to do business as usual while we have fertile land, while we have plenty land, while we have technology. So enough, I'm here then one of the reasons is to give support to the Cool Deep Singh Group, to recognize their efforts, to recognize their encouragement, to take decision timely, to take risk, and present to the community a new port facility, anticipating on the development of the oil and gas. My heartfelt congratulations. On the day of tomorrow, that's Father Day. Congratulations. May God bless you all. Thank you. Um, de uitbreiding is een van de voornaamste plannen. We willen natuurlijk meer diensten gaan verlenen. We willen de one-stop shop. Uh, one-stop shops uh, zijn voor de olie- en gasindustrie. Naast het uh, verschaffen, het, aan, het laten aanmeren van schepen, het laden en lossen van schepen, um, zijn we natuurlijk ook, hebben we ook de voornemens om onze offshore diensten iets meer te gaan uitbreiden. Het bouwen van de Liquid Mod Plant was een van de ontwikkelingen voor de haven. En uh, het zit ook in de pijplijn om een beetje de haven nog meer uit te breiden, zodat er nog meer de klanten van dienst kunnen zijn.